Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to the JavaScript complete course. In this video, we are going to talk about DOM insert adjacent methods. Uh, so before jumping over to the main point, if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notification of my new video when I upload them. Alright, so let's get started. So in the previous video, we have learned about these two methods which are append child and insert before. By using the append child, we can append an element and at the end of uh, div and by using insert before we can specify the location of the uh, specific element and after that we have uh, three other uh, methods which are uh, insert adjacent element insert adjacent html and insert insert adjacent text so now let's check what is the use of these two so the append child and insert before will only append the element the created element these three methods will create and append the methods at the same time this means that uh, we don't need to create first create an element then append the element so now let's learn more let's learn deeper about these three methods and then we will jump over to the practice section let's suppose if i want to create an element uh, let's suppose i'm going to select here a p element or p tag if I want to create a tag for this, I'm going to use the insert adjacent element. By using this insert adjacent element, I can create element. And let's suppose if we want to create an element and create a text at the same time. For this, we have another. Uh, let's suppose uh, here I want to create an, a, a P element. And inside the P element at the same time in one line, I want to create a text as well. For this, we need to use insert adjacent HTML. And the next we have a text. If you want to uh, create or print a simple text, for this we need to use insert adjacent uh, text. Uh, here we have some more, uh, some other methods for specification of these elements. For this, we have before uh, begin, after begin, before end and after end. So here let's suppose we have a div and we want to print this h1 text inside the div and uh, we need to select one of these methods. If we talk about before begin, if we uh, select the before begin, it will, it will print the text right at the top of the selected element. It means that before the starting of the div. If we select after begin, it will print after right after the beginning of the div and if you select the after end it will print a text right after at the end of the div and if we select before ending it will print a text right before ending of the div element so now let's jump over to the code section and we will and we will practice this everything so you can see this is an example. Uh, I have created a div and a simple paragraph here. And this is my HTML file and JavaScript file is empty. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump over to the JavaScript file and let's practice everything here. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to practice the, our previous topic, uh, which is DOM append method. and at the same time, I'm going to practice the insert adjacent methods. So for this, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create a variable which is new element is equal to document dot create element. So first, I'm going to create h2 element, and after that, I'm going to create create another variable. This one will be the new text document dot create text node and here we're going to say this is just text now for this so now what we're going to do we need to uh, target this a uh, div let me show you here we have an id which is te text and i'm going to create another variable this one will be target is equal to document dot get element by id and i'm going to specify then id which is test 
that's it and after that what i'm going to do i'm going to use a target and here i'm going to use insert insert adjacent element and inside this uh parenthesis opening closing parenthesis inside the double quotation i'm going to i uh, specify the position of the element that i want to print on the screen so this one will be before begin and separate this with a comma and here i'm going to tell the browser which uh, element you need to print before the beginning so i'm going to specify the new element now let me copy this and paste it here and now let's save this so when i save this now let's come to the come let's right click come to the inspect and uh, here you can see when we expand this let me expand here you can see after the test id we have an h2 element here you can see we have an h2 element here so here you can see right before the test the test id we have an h2 element here you can see but inside the html we have nothing with the name of h2 element here you can see so now what we are going to do we are going to append this by using our previous method that we uh, talked about in our previous course if you didn't watch that video the link is at the description you can watch that video as well now here what we are going to do we are going to append our h2 element with this text so for this uh, here i'm going to say so here i'm going to append the new element dot append child with new text that's it now when i save this here you can see the text is printed on the screen and here we have we said right before the beginning and if we say after begin after begin and when we save this here you can see it prints inside the div right it will print after the beginning of the div element so that's it hope you understand until this point so now let's talk about another method which is insert adjacent html so for this what we are going to do we don't need these three lines we are going to comment this and we are going to use just this the id name and we have created uh, a variable for this and we are going to use this insert adjacent and instead of element we are going to say html that's it and right at the bottom we are here we are going to create another variable which will be new new element and inside this new element equal and inside this double quotation we are going to create our, our h2 element and uh, we are going to create our element and our text at the same time so let's create a text so this is heading 2 that's it so when i save this here you can see the heading 2 is printed right at the at the right side of the screen you can see inside the div and if i if i change this right after end here you can see the position is changed if i say right before before end here you can see it will print right before ending of the div element so hope you understand at this point the use of differences between uh, insert adjacent uh, element and insert adjacent uh, html uh, for by using the insert adjacent html we don't need these three lines of code we are going to just uh, create an element and append the text inside the element at the same time in just one line so the next we will talk about insert adjacent text so now for this we will do our two or two functions uh, in a single line in single in one single line for this what we are going to do we are going to say new 
text and we are going to remove this heading from here tags and let me copy this from here and let's paste it here and when we change this the text into text here you can see the text is printed and we can also change its position right after end and when i say this here you can see it will print right after at the end of the div element so you can choose the position where you want to print your text and this is the uses of insert adjacent element insert adjacent html and insert adjacent text so hope you understand until this point if you have any question any suggestion please leave the comment below if you didn't subscribe my youtube channel make sure to subscribe this channel so that you'll get the notification of my new video when i upload them